Hey friends, thank you for stopping by Mimi's Mix Bag. Today I'm bringing you a summer nautical wreath. And my local Dollar Tree has already put out their first wave of summer stuff. And so I needed to put a hold on the spring crafting so that you can get to Dollar Tree and get these before they're gone. Because if your Dollar Tree is like mine, within the week, it's gone. And this wreath is going to cost you five to seven dollars. It just really depends on what you have at home. I'm going to recycle an old wire wreath form I have, so that saved me a dollar. I picked up a two pack of these flower sack towels. I'll explain to you what I'm going to do with that. Now here are the cute nautical things my store had. This laser cut little captain's wheel. My store has had this nautical rope for a year or so, but they also have the dark. And I love these wood-like anchors. And I tell you, they are not your typical Dollar Tree quality. This is something you would seriously buy at Hobby Lobby. I'm just really impressed. I've got a sheet of stickers here, and I'm going to make a little sign with some scrap wood. So I just wanted to show you all the supplies. The first thing I need to do is go ahead and take these little flower sack towels apart and iron them and get the creases out of them so they're not so wrinkledy. I just wanted to show you what the flower sack towel looked like out of the package. I thought it was two because it was so much fabric, but it's actually one big piece of fabric and wanted to show you why I need to iron it before I move on. All right, I've got my flower sack towel ironed now. It looks 100% better, and I just folded it in half so it would fit on the counter. And you'll notice real quick that it is not a even square piece of fabric, but it doesn't matter because we're just wrapping a wreath form. Now my wreath form has six little sections and most of them do that come from Dollar Tree or Dollar General. And I'm going to just cut my fabric into six pieces, approximately six inches wide. All right, I've got my towel cut into six strips now and I didn't even measure. I just kind of folded it in half and eyeballed the six strips. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because we're just wrapping the wreath form. I'm gonna take one strip for each section of the wreath form. That way I know fabric is uniform as far as thickness all the way around and I know I'll have enough. So I'm gonna hot glue the strip starting on the back and just cover each section at a time. Just wanna show you the first section, hot glued starting from the back and ending on the back. I chose that flower sack towel is because I was thinking of like a sailboat sails. It's like canvas material and I just thought that this fabric kind of lended itself to my nautical theme. Now I'm going to take my thick nautical rope. I'm going to start it in the back and wrap my wreath about six times. All right my rope is in place now and I'm ready to move on to my captain's wheel. You can leave it as is or you could paint it, or I'm going to stain mine with just a little bit of stain I have left. If you don't have stain, you can use shoe polish, watered down paint. There's just a variety of ways you uh, could do it, and I just think it'll look really good wood stained on the cream colored wreath. All right, that literally took five minutes and a teaspoon of stain is all it took. And with it being kind of lasered cut on the edges, you don't even have to worry about doing it on the side. All right, uh, I just put hot glue on all the points of the captain's wheel and it really secured it onto the wreath form. Love the contrast and I'm so glad I stained it instead of painting it. Now I'm ready to make a little sign and I'm gonna, I want it to say welcome aboard because I've got a couple things of cream going on and I really don't want it natural. I'm gonna just kind of dry brush brush a little white paint on here just to give it a little white color and because these stickers I actually have are clear outside of the letter and I so. may end up going back and putting just a little coat of Mod Podge on there just so that they don't peel off but they're secured pretty well and I love the look of those blue letters all right I've got my two anchors here and then I took some of my leftover rope and just kind of played around and tried to make kind of a nautical looking rope I might even make a couple of them I got enough rope where We'll see. So I'm just going to play around with those four things on the wreath form until I can get the finished look that I want and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right friends it is the next morning here and I decided to wait till today because lighting is so much better. It's still gloomy here but you can see it better than you could last night. I'm going to move in so you can see how the fabric is just wrapped around the wreath form. 
I took the strings from the anchor and just wrapped it around the sign. So that's where I got the little jute string. And then I took the nautical rope and just tied kind of a loopy bow. If my daughter was here, she could tie us all kinds of nautical ropes because she served in the Coast Guard for 12 years. So this is really the reason I made this wreath for her back door and I know she's going to love it. So I hope you're able to luck up and find these little nautical embellishments and make yourself a summer nautical wreath. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back in a few days. Bye-bye.